Good day, welcome friends. We're gonna take a ride around Colorado Springs and just look at a few sites. Probably some Garden of the Gods and a little look at the Air Force Academy airfield. This is why we love living in Colorado. Even on a bad visibility day, we got some great mountain views everywhere you go. A lot of wind on the freeway here today, I'm buffeting me around. Let's see if the GoPro hyper stable technology can keep this looking stable. My head is shaking quite a bit. A lot of wind. Which brings me to a point that uh, people bring up about riding a quote light unquote bike. This Versus 650, anywhere from about 470 to 500 pounds or a little more, depending on how much gear and luggage I've got going on. And folks that love to ride the very heavy, low-strung uh, low cruisers like to cite uh, that when you're on the freeway with high winds, you'll get blown all over the place and it's unsafe. Well, while I admit you do get blown around maybe a little bit more, you don't really get pushed off your line unless you're somehow letting it do that to you. The uh, angular momentum of the wheels, the gyroscopic motion, really keeps you headed where you're pointed and where the wheels are turning. Uh, it's unlikely that you get major issues as long as you're just being cautious and maybe lean into it just a little bit. I have not ridden a heavy cruiser in really high winds, so I can't really speak to how much easier that may be. But I don't know that I've ever felt like I was about to get blown off the road or out of my lane or that the wind has forced me to do anything that I wasn't going to do anyway, besides leaning into it a bit. And we do get some pretty heavy winds here in Colorado Springs. We had a day where it actually turned over several semi-trucks, these big boxy trailers catch the wind and they all blew right over. There were a dozen semi-trucks turned completely on their sides. And it was also the day they had to shut down the airport. It was so windy. I wasn't riding my bike in that wind, but uh, we get a lot of wind. And I have not found the wind argument to be terribly persuasive when it comes to riding a lighter bike. If you found something different, please let me know in the comments. There's a little scenic turnoff area. We're gonna see if there's any activity on the Air Force Academy airfield. Another factor about wind that people worry about is the alterations that are made by large vehicles, such as semi-trucks. As you pass them on your motorcycle and they have pockets of wind and air they push to the side and it can make you feel a little concerned for your safety. I was concerned about that perhaps the first uh, four or five months that I rode. I think once you get used to it, you know how to handle it. It's really not a terribly uh, concerning thing. Here we go, we're gonna pull it off the scenic overlook here. You can see one of their de Havilland UV-8 Twin Otters up there. The cadets will jump to their parachute class and certification. They also have sailplanes that they will use. Got a couple of folks out soaring today. A little Harley trike here. So here at the Air Force Academy Airfield, they do regular private pilot license training. They do sailplane and soaring. You'll see some of those getting towed. So up there in the distance, it may not have a very good view in the camera. And they will do jump training. And get cadets up there and jump out of a twin otter and parachutes, or with parachutes, and train that quite a bit. They've got a competitive team for all of these things as well. Flying, sailing, and jumping. Here 
comes somebody in for a landing now. And touchdown. Alright, visibility is not great, so we're going to leave here and go check out Garden of the Gods. I do want to clarify one thing about the wind discussion as we're starting to get some gusts here. When the wind is pretty constant, it's much easier to deal with. Uh, we do tend to get a lot of gusting here in Colorado Springs where you get a lower constant rate wind and then you get the gusts that ramp up real quickly to much faster speeds. And uh, those can be a little more of a challenge. My advice with that, regardless of the weight of your bike, is like a lot of advice with uh, areas where you might be a little more tense or nervous, is just relax on the uh, grips. Relax your ride. Don't stress too much about it. Like I said, the uh, angular momentum and gyroscopic motion of the wheels is generally going to keep you where you want to go. It's really hard to, at speed, at freeway speeds, it's really hard to knock the motorcycle off its course just with wind. Uh, certainly a higher profile bike, like an adventure bike, is going to have a little more effect from that. But uh, you can manage that with just relax on your grips, let the bike do its thing. Just try not to get yourself into trouble. And you'll generally find it's not as much of an issue as you thought. It's mostly as people are learning, tend to get real nervous about things like that when you're first riding and that can actually be a large part of the problem is your nerves and tensing up and gripping things too tightly. If you learn to just relax and let the motorcycle do its thing, uh, just like on a dirt road, let the wheels find their traction, relax your grip a bit, you'll find that the motorcycle will often ride or drive itself uh, better than sometimes the rider will when we panic or we grip and tense up too much. So that's my advice for riding in the wind. see some of the rock formations for Garden of the Gods coming up. We have some magnificent rock formations here. The land for Garden of the Gods was donated to El Paso County. And now the county and the uh, foundation, I'm not sure the name, they help take care of the park and it's free access for visitors and really quite a nice place to do some hiking with some really neat rock formations. We'll have a closer look here.
gods. A little view of the Air Force Academy airfield with some light activity. And a few tips on how to ride in the wind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you again real soon.